Chinese, it doesn't have the severity, I think, of calling a child not normal. Um, you know, you call a kid not normal here, and it has a very heavy, uh, you know, very, very negative. Yeah, they just don't say that, right. So um, how about the way the audience receive it? So do you think Chinese audiences view it, and do they walk away any kind of different perceptions than you're noticing from American audiences? Well, uh, interesting enough, you know, my uh, previous films uh, were perceived uh, much better in China than in America, because in America uh, it would be categorized as art film, foreign language film, so the audience base was very small. And uh, while in China, you know, it was something cool and uh, ahead of the time, and the people are uh, people feel related, but they haven't really been exposed to such a um, uh, kind of a um, point of view. So, uh, or the artistic uh, selection, I mean artistic choices, to them it's all fresh. Uh, therefore, and you know, like it all became sort of like a, uh, in China super successful, but in America it was not. And uh, uh, this film just uh, sort of the opposite. I mean, it's strange enough because we didn't expect any of this, and uh, we tried to launch uh, three times in China, and every time was COVID, 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 COVID. So the entire effort was washed off, but still. Uh, you know, like uh, uh, we, uh, you know, my producers and distributors in China, they were like all very experienced uh, veterans and, uh, um, you know, they, they made so many films, like um, Mega Buster, I mean, in China, huge films. But this time, uh, it was totally different in a sense that, uh, um, it seems that the official response, for example, you know, a film was opened in my, uh, in a school I graduated, Foreign Language uh, Institute in Beijing. And uh, um, I was in New York, and so it was a visual on my side. And uh, first of all, I was so shocked to see it was in an auditorium that looks like a Zhongnanhai. I mean, I don't know how, where did they get money to build a building like that? And everything was staged like a jiu da, shi da, you know, like a, the political uh, communist kind of like a huge st stately sort of for forbidden city kind of stuff. I mean, it's just a canvas. And then, you know, you see all those red flags and all those, and then you see the, um, the leaders coming up, talking, and everything becomes so formal. And uh, I tried to encourage people to think creatively and differently and you know so that probably doesn't didn't really sound much in sync <laughs> with what the school was trying to uh, to promote and uh, um, so it was a little awkward and uh, after that I heard other canvas canvases there were uh, principals from other schools universities came to this screening so that they would be able to prepare for the screenings in their schools. And after that, is they, they, they sort of like, uh, they really didn't want to really continue because they felt this was not something in line with what the party line really is about nowadays. So that was yeah, very strange. Was, yeah, the film is not political. I didn't think so. And, uh, but I was told they were very surprised that this film passed the censor uh, system. Why do you think that's the system? I have no idea, because I, I think people just became more suddenly sensitive. I mean, everything was kind of like uh, difficult nowadays, as you know. Yeah. Well, um, I would like to open it up, of course, to the audience in a minute or two, but it just um, for questions and answers. But you brought up a very interesting topic that I'd like to explore for a few minutes before we open up, and that is about filmmaking. You talked about coming here in the 1970s and 80s and other Chinese filmmakers wanting to come to America to sort of pursue their filmmaking aspirations. What I sort of heard now, and I'm wondering, is that still the case? Is America still a place where Chinese uh, emerging filmmakers would like to come to explore their creativity? 
or is it now looking more inward and developing internal and looking inwards for, for these filmmakers? I would have to say I'm a little bit out of touch with the Chinese filmmakers, you know, there, because uh, you know from the films that I watched, um, there are about subjects that that I didn't really experience because I left the country for over 40 years, and I, you know, like when I was at the film. Uh, uh, at Lincoln Center, uh, we're constantly having filmmakers, you know, coming in, and uh, we will be receiving them, like Jia Zhang Ke, for example. And uh, um, so the conversation and the storytelling, you know, about their experience and the way they show violence, the way they show uh, how corrupted, you know, like um, you and me have become, you know, it was so shocking and something that I uh, couldn't feel related to. And I um, like uh, there are some films that are really, really like shockingly, you know, like uh, corrupt and dirty, and uh, that I just, um, I just, you know, didn't feel relating to. So when you say that they're corrupt and dirty. You mean the filmmaking or the content of the end product? I think it's the environment. It's like uh, everyone betrays everyone for very little bit, and then they cheat, and they, you know, like uh, um, sell out. Um, Everything you know, basically, it's not like uh, just uh, the party members or like the officials or like the politicians. It's like just you and me. We sell out each other all the time, like uh, you know, to everyone. I I don't get it. I mean, you know, um, I do get it. I mean, it is you know, like uh, um, some people say that's like uh, one side of the culture or society after so many years of. Uh, um, you know, uh, you know, like authoritarian system. You know, but you know, people when you're forced not when you cannot tell truth, you are forced to lie, and you constantly lie, and then uh, you just keep on lying. So uh, I guess after a while, even in America, regardless how hard things are, we tend to tell the truth, and we tend to fight. I mean, that's a seven years old mentality, I know. But you know, like, uh, um, I like that. <laughs> you know, that's why I live in America. <laughs> okay. And I, I, I don't understand the constant cheat, you know, being the content in most of the films. Well, I think that's one of the things that's so inspirational about Confetti, is that we see the, universe, yeah, the universality of humanity. And um, it doesn't really matter if you're sitting in an authoritarian environment, in a so-called democratic environment. I think that there's something for everybody. And it reminds us that we are connected. And that even though you know, the very nature of humanity is that we're different, yet at the same time, we have things that we share in common, right? Thank you very much. Because I mean, there are people saying it has no edge, and it's not uh, critical. and. Uh, but the thing is, I think it's a choice. You know, it's not like a, I, um, my other films, or I couldn't make films that I can show. People are constantly setting out each other my, to sell out my mother, to sell out my daughter. I mean, that will be very deep, right? But I, I feel like I just, um, you know, this is what I want to celebrate. I think it's about, you know, celebrating the uh, differences, um, and it's about love. Because that's like uh, I think love is the answer to everything. <laughs> okay, and then the genuine, uh, right? yeah. I mean the genuine affection, uh, which is you know like uh, abundant among us, right? It comes through at so many levels. Just think about in a Western dynamic, how many couples would keep silent about the fact that a wife is you know a woman, not able to read or write. Yet we all knew it, we all knew it, and we saw, it, at least for me perceiving this as a very zheng chang, very normal in China that this would go unsaid. Yet I think American audiences, I was listening around when I was watching it thinking, how is this possible? So I think it does have the edge. And the edge is also the fact that, you know, we have different approaches to common human issues. Thank you. So with that, maybe 